Earlier this year, it would have been unimaginable. Today, just four months after the pair quit the front bench as respected cabinet players, all this over that SNC Lavalin controversy, they're both launching a bid for re election to sit in the back row as independents. Wilson Raybould is up and running with her re election website in Vancouver. Jane Philpott is declaring her independence and looking for support in Markham, Ontario. Let's find out why they're doing what they're doing. And Jody Wilson Raybould joins us from Vancouver. Uh, Jody Wilson Raybould, you know, of course, independent MPs are rarely heard or seen or have an impact on parliamentary affairs, don't you? Well, I, uh, I've heard many things. Um, I uh, am really excited to put my name forward to be the independent candidate in the 2019 federal election in Vancouver Granville. I am under no illusions that running as an independent is um, difficult. There's going to be challenges, but I am up to facing uh, those challenges. I have a lot of energy and I'm committed to hard work. And, and in terms of having um, a voice or having my independent voice heard, uh, I've actually experienced um, a lot of uh, various conversations and discussions, involvement in, in uh, the House of Commons and, and committee work. And I'm going to look forward to, as an independent, I'm going to look forward to continuing to, to take advantage of those opportunities, working with, uh, with all parties uh, to gain access to um, opportunities to speak and, and look at working on how we can make improvements so all members can have opportunities. How do you move the dial on something as important to you as, say, uh, First Nation reconciliation or Indigenous rec reconciliation when you're you know, a party of one or maybe two former ministers, how do you change the channel a bit and get that thing moving? Well, I, uh, I don't consider myself a, a party of one or a party of, of anything. I consider myself an independent. And um, as an independent, I look forward to um, not working by myself, but working with everybody to advance really important issues that our country is facing. Uh, you mentioned indigenous issues. Uh, I sat around the cabinet table advocating for transformative change uh, among Indigenous peoples in this country and there were or, and have been advancements made but we need to do more and working as an independent member of parliament with like-minded uh, members of parliament and, and hearing from uh, my constituents and listening to Canadians. We can um, continue to push, uh, continue to ensure that we create the space for transformative change with respect to Indigenous peoples, because this is one of the major issues that we're facing that needs to be addressed. And the only way to address these issues is to move beyond partisanship and look at including all voices to find solutions that stand the test of time. But, Another but. issue on the same uh, um, uh, is climate change. And that applies equally to the efforts that need to be made around that um, issue of our generation. You know, like I, I hear what you're saying and it sounds good in a kumbaya sort of way, but you know as well as I do that this is a blood sport and you can't do it without blood and you know you need party help, at least party influence to make agenda change. Why didn't you embrace the Green Party? It's rising in the polls, you respect Elizabeth May, you've mentioned climate change as an important idea. That seemed to be a more natural home than independent. Well, a number of things that, that you raised. I, um, uh, I don't believe I'm, uh, I mean, you may hear kumbaya, but I believe I'm being realistic. Mm -hmm. I believe that um, from hearing from thousands of people that people actually want to do politics differently. Mm -hmm. And to characterize politics as a blood sport, um, I don't ascribe to that either. One, I don't see any blood as being necessary in terms of addressing issues. And to characterize something as a sport diminishes the importance of the work that politicians and Canadians need to do to address issues. Um, you mentioned and talked about uh, the Green Party. Of course I had conversations with Elizabeth May, uh, very deep detailed conversations and I seriously considered uh, the Green Party and had conversations with other other uh, leaders as well. Um, I know who I am in terms of uh, 
what I want to present and how I can function uh, to um, my abilities. And I do not want to or think that I can fit myself into a particular party. Mm. That's not to say that I do not see the Green Party as a natural ally because I do, particularly on the issue of issues around climate change and the environment and, and innovation. I'm going to continue to work very closely with Elizabeth May, with the Green Party and MPs of all political stripes to uh, uh, address the issues and to, to move into the, okay. the election in October. All right. Uh, Jody wilson Rebel, thanks for joining us. Uh, you're going to make things interesting anyway. We appreciate your time. Thank you.